This video will demonstrate how to add simple gate sequencing to a 16-step Rene sequence as seen in the basic sequencing video. We'll start with a 16-step sequence. We're using an envelope generated by our clock at Maths Channel 4 to open the Modimix once per clock. Note that we're in snake mode, so the X clock input causes Rene to step through all 16 locations. We can keep it in time with the clock, regardless of rise and fall settings. The key to more intricate programming is the X gate output. Since the selected snake pattern is always moving horizontally, the X gate fires on every clock. If we use it to trigger a second envelope, we can use that to open the Modimix channel, and we can control rise and fall time independently of the clock rate. Additionally, we can now navigate to the XGate program page and enable or disable envelopes per step. Note that if the envelope time is longer than the time between clocks, the next note may be audible before the current one is over, like a hammer-on or pull-off on a guitar. If that's not desirable, we can use shorter envelopes or tune consecutive notes to the same pitch so it rings as one note.